guys, welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'm doing kind of a different video. Last Monday, I woke up and just started filming my food. I figured I'd do like what I ate this week and this is kind of a different style of video for my channel. So it's a little bit of like vlogging and also a little bit of like voiceover. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna like it, but hey, you're never gonna know if something's a hit if you don't try it, right? So you guys let me know down in the comments after you're done watching this video um, by commenting or by giving the video a thumbs up. And if you guys do like it, I'll do this like, a, I'll make this a monthly thing. I pretty much start off every single morning the same exact way, drinking lemon water and then also having my coffee. Today for breakfast, I'm trying out a new yogurt. I just saw this right next to the yogurt that I normally like to eat and it looked pretty good, sweet cream. And then I have some kiwi that my mother-in-law brought me that need to be eaten, half a banana and some strawberries and I'm just gonna put it all together. And so here's my bowl of yogurt. I tried it already, it's pretty good, it tastes it's not super, super sweet, so I like it, but I think I still prefer the Nusa yogurt over this. But I like this because you could put whatever toppings you want on it. And I just have my water with me. So this week I bought a lot of avocados and tomatoes, so you're gonna see me eating pretty much the same thing as a snack every day. So I just had some toast, uh, smashed avocados with some tomatoes and sea salt on top. I'm having my afternoon tea. This is the Triple Leaf Detox Tea. I usually have this after every meal while well, I try to. We were just about to make dinner when my sister called and we ended up going out to dinner with her. We went to go have sushi and uh, we did have these little like stuffed jalapenos with cream cheese. Um, but one of my favorite things to order when I go out to eat sushi is some sort of tuna tower or salmon tower. So it's basically just like sashimi, avocado and sushi rice and then like a little salad on top. It's so good. And then we just shared a roll. This one had mangoes and shrimp inside of it and it was pretty tasty. So on Tuesday, I also had my coffee and lemon water, but totally forgot to film it. For breakfast, I had an open face muffin egg sandwich, I guess you could call it. Instead of a traditional English muffin, I like to use this sprouted grain one. It's a lot better for you. And then I just top it with avocado, spinach, and a fried egg. And I put a little bit of sriracha on it, and this is so good, and it's super filling, and I just had that with water. For lunch, I just made a quick tuna salad. This is one of my go-tos whenever I'm like in the middle of something and I just want to make something quick. So I just add some lime juice to my tuna, garlic salt, and a little bit of mayo. Um, I usually like to use Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. I didn't have any, so mayo it was. And then I also add sriracha to it to make it a little bit spicy. Um, so I threw that on top of a bed of spinach. I also added some pickled artichokes, sweetie drop peppers, and I sprinkled it with some more sriracha, and it makes a really quick and delicious salad. And I had that with a glass of water. Most of the time my husband and I will eat the same exact thing, but every now and then I know he's not like a huge fan of salad, so I'll make him something a little bit different. So I made him a tuna melt, which is just the same tuna salad. I added spinach, tomato, and then Swiss cheese on top, and I put it in the broiler for about a minute to two until the cheese was nice and melty, and this is one of his favorite ways to eat tuna. So since I had already had my lunch, I just sat down and kept him company and had a cup of coffee while I browsed through my Newsy Gallery catalog, which are these colors so pretty. So for dinner, I just roasted some broccoli. I like to put it on in an oven for 400 degrees and roast it for about 25 minutes. They get nice and crispy. I just put olive oil, garlic salt, and that's it. And it's so good, you guys. Uh, and then I just marinated some salmon. I'd actually marinated this the night before, and then I just cooked it on this night. So it's a simple marinade. I marinated it with soy sauce, garlic salt, honey, and also a little bit of sriracha. Can you guys tell I love sriracha? <laughs> And then I put that in the oven on broil for eight minutes and it cooks so fast and this, the skin gets really nice and crispy. And so I just served it with uh, the broccoli. And then I also added a little side of balsamic tomatoes. So it's just little baby tomatoes with balsamic vinegar and it was really delicious. It is Wednesday and I just had my lemon water. I totally forgot to take video of it, but I'm having my coffee right now. And can you guys tell this is my favorite mug? <laughs> So I'm going out to lunch with my husband, so I thought I'd just have a light breakfast. I'm gonna eat about half of this. I mean, if I'm still hungry, I'll probably finish the whole thing, and then I'm just having some water. And this is my favorite brand of yogurt ever, you guys. 
And my husband had a stuffed peanut butter French toast. I've made this in a past video and my husband will request this all the time. It's so good. It's just basically a grilled peanut butter sandwich and it's got caramelized uh, bananas on top and it's actually really good. We also drizzle it with a little bit of honey. For lunch, we went out to eat and I went out to eat with my mom and my nephew. And I had a Caesar salad with chicken. This is one of my favorite things and I was stealing my nephew's french fries. They were so good. <laughs> So I had that lunch pretty late, so I wasn't really super hungry for dinner. So I just made myself some avocado, sliced avocados uh, and tomatoes on top of toast. And I also added a little bit of mayo to my bread. You guys, this is so good. I love having tomatoes on toast with a little bit of mayo. It's so delicious. I don't really eat a lot of sweets, but every now and then I get a craving for chocolate. So I had a few of these little chocolate covered almonds. So on this day, I had my coffee and lemon water, like I always do. And then for breakfast, I sauteed some mushrooms and I threw a couple eggs on top. And then I put that on top of a bed of spinach and I added half a slice of Swiss cheese. And this is just a really simple, kind of like a sandwich, but without the bread, it's really good. <laughs> So on some days, I like to just snack all day, especially if I'm home alone. And that's pretty much what I did on this day. So I had a banana about two to three hours later. And then two hours after that, I had some raw broccoli, tomatoes, and a little bit of ranch sauce. So I had some leftover salmon from two days ago and it had to get eaten. Otherwise, it was gonna go bad. So I just made kind of like a little, like a stir fry. And it's really easy to make. I just used ingredients that I had in my fridge. So I sauteed some onions with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. And once they were nice, and translucent I added some garlic and edamame and also chunks of pineapple and I just sauteed it until it was nice and caramelized and a little bit brown then I also added chili garlic sauce which is so good and right before I took it off the pan I added some low sodium soy sauce to give it kind of like a stir-fry flavor and then I also made a little side of mango salsa that just has lime juice cilantro tomatoes and mango and I layered everything on top of brown rice we both cleaned our entire bowls because it was so tasty so later on that evening, we had a movie night. So we made some popcorn and we had a glass of wine. I bought these seasoning things off of Etsy and this one is cheddar cheese flavor and they're so good, you guys. I could eat popcorn every night. Popcorn and potatoes. So Friday, my husband was with me while I made breakfast, so I was having my coffee as I was cooking, and um, by Friday, I'm pretty much just trying to eat up whatever is left in our fridge so we can go grocery shopping that Sunday. So I just sauteed whatever we had left over of the mushrooms and also onions, and then I also made some turkey bacon, and I made a sandwich for my husband with Swiss cheese and then just two slices of bread, and then I just added an egg to his sandwich and avocados, and it formed this like ginormous sandwich. So I pretty much did the same thing, except I only used one slice of bread and I used my sprouted grain and um, I also skipped the cheese on this day. Uh, and then I also made a smoothie with like whatever fruits we had left over, which I ended up not having it for breakfast. Totally ended up not drinking my smoothie in the morning because I was so full from my breakfast. So I saved it and I'm having it as a snack right now. And it's actually way better than it looks. I know it kind of looks like a poopy green, <laughs> but it tastes really good. Later on, I made avocado toast again, and I just made my smashed avocado with tomatoes and sea salt. And on my husband's, I added feta cheese to it to give it kind of like a Greek flavor. I found these cheesy breads at Costco, and they're really, really good. So I made some marinara sauce to go with it. I just got some tomato sauce, and I added cheese to it, and then also like pizza seasoning. And we always like to keep a frozen pizza in our freezer just for nights like this when neither of us feel like cooking and this is the one that we're trying this week and it was actually really really good guys i would highly recommend this if you can find it at your grocery store so that is what i ate this past week love to hear your feedback so let me know good or bad and if you're not subscribed to my channel and you did like the video i hope you subscribe i have lots of food videos and i also make a lot of lifestyle videos so i will talk to you guys on my next video Mwah. bye